you know, you grew up your whole life, you went to college, you found a good job, and if someone co- tries to come to you and tell you like, hey, have you thought about this? And you're like, what? Are you crazy? No, I'm just gonna work at this job forever. I'll be set, I have a 401k company matching, right? So in this one, I'm gonna be talking about how an open mind can make you rich. And a lot of guys run into this problem where they're so stuck in their life and what society's told them as the way to go, right? You're talking about, hey, I went to school, I got my degree, I got a good job, got my 401k, man, I'm good, I'm set, right? I'm, I'm gonna be rich. And then it hits you eventually that, holy moly, like, you're not really getting ahead or it might never hit you. Even if you got into investing and you, you think you're open to you know stocks and maybe even considering real estate, you need to realize like there's a lot more than that. You can do so much more than that in life. You don't know what life and what opportunity is gonna come up. They're gonna hit you at any time. You know, I think sometimes people struggle because they you know, it's something new, something they're not used to. They don't want to look stupid, right? They don't want to be the guy that, oh, I, oh, what are you talking about? What is that? But I'm telling you, it's okay to not know. It's okay to keep an open ear, like, and sometimes ask questions like, whoa, what is that? That sounds interesting. What, tell me more about that. To be a little vulnerable, to hear people out, get all, gather all the information and make your own decision. Because I'm not saying every possible opportunity, anything that anybody offers you or, or tells you is going to be a good opportunity but you need to have an open mind and then hear them out, gather all the information, you gotta do your homework and then make your decision. Because sometimes you don't know. You know, there's a bunch of junk you have to filter through, but once you filter through a bunch of junk, you're like, you might be surprised that, you know what, something sounds really interesting. It all adds up, it makes a lot of sense to do it. And then you gotta do it. You can't just sit around and hear the ideas all day either, right? You have to, act on it you have to execute because all the great ideas all the great opportunities that hit you and you do nothing with they're just going to pass you by that's even worse because then you're going to look back and have all this regret i know a lot of people when i talk to them about something maybe they haven't heard before i talk about real estate talking about investing talking about just having the right mindset about like life and wealth and success health everything that's important in life you get that you know, that initial response like, ah, you know, once I hear the ah, you know, they shut their mind off. They don't want to hear it because they already have this preconceived notion that they know what you're talking about. Like, ah, I heard about that. Oh, I know about that. They, they don't want to hear it, right? They, they either, or they either say, ah, no, that's, that's too hard. Or, ah, come on, that's not possible, man. I, I don't have the money. I, they think of all the excuses, all the problems, all the ways where it doesn't work or they've heard it and they don't really care for it. They know all about it, right? I already heard that. Oh, I already know about that. They blow it off right away without even giving it a chance, without even giving themselves a chance. Because even, you know, with the same idea, different people telling it, sometimes you might get a different perspective. Start to think of ideas, think of ways to actually make something happen. Because in the beginning, everything's gonna look crazy. You tell someone, to buy a million dollar house, like, what are you talking about? That's crazy. I would not in a million, year, million years even think I could do that. That's when you have to think it through, come up with a game plan and just chip away at it. And when you chip away at it, a lot of times you'd be surprised when you look back, like I didn't think that was possible. Now I have everything. I bought multiple million dollar houses and I'm buying all, this, all the different things in this world. So it starts with just out giving it a chance, right? Don't, don't stop yourself. Don't close your mind day one, first second of any idea. And then you have to be open to all kinds of opportunities. So it might not be something you've ever heard about. I, I don't even think I've seen half the stuff in this world. I'm sure I, the next opportunity, I will have no clue what it is, but I know I will give it a shot. You know, hear, hear it out, right? Or do my research and just see if it makes sense, right? If it's, you know, sustainable, if it's something that actually can, I can do long-term that can make me money or, or put me ahead. I will weigh everything, right? The risk reward and the odds of it succeeding. And it'd be open to different strategies too. If we're talking about even uh, real estate or if it's a business or if it's stocks, there are a lot of different strategies. Be open to that. 
you know, whatever you know so far might not be the best strategy in the long run. You might be comfortable or you learn a couple things here and there and it seemed to work or it didn't work or it's just whatever, but keep an open mind. You like start to develop your strategy, evolve your strategy, come up with something that, you know, wow, this works so much better. Now you have this like evolution and you, you know what? And I'm constantly learning. I don't think that whatever strategy I've learned for one thing is going to always be the best thing. You always have to adapt too. you always have to adapt with the times, with the market, with the seasons, whatever, with the cycle and a big one, be open to different ideas, different mindsets, different perspectives. Just be open to hear people out, you know, especially people that have done really well. Right. And they've, and they sound like they have it together. So with that, I want to just put a disclaimer to, and you know, everybody that's done well in one thing doesn't mean they have the right mindset. I've seen a lot of people that, you know, they got rich, but the way they went about it, it's all wrong. So you need to recognize that too. It's not just something that, you know what, they're the, the guru. And so they're right, right? Have an open mind to actually see what they're doing and pick out what makes sense, what doesn't make sense and then put that into your own life, right? And make that into your own strategy, what makes sense for you, and then move on with that. You know, be open to different kinds of risks too. You know, in, in this world, you know, risk is not just, you know, automatically a bad thing. Risk is just, you know, you wanna try something, but it's not guaranteed to work out. So that that's a risk. You need to be able to identify what your risks are, and then, you know, take a chance on things, even though it's, Maybe something you've never tried or you, you never thought, you know, never thought about it. But now you realize there's this new world, you know, but I have to like, there is some risk to it. It might not work. Be open to that. You know, you do everything you can. You do your homework to minimize risk. You try to, you know, come up with all the solutions beforehand. You did all your homework, come up with all of the backup backup plans. And then you just got to go for it, right? There is a risk to it that it won't work or you could lose money or whatever it is. But sometimes, the risk is worth it and you just got to go for it right in life opportunities come once in a lifetime okay that's what i learned from my buddy and be open to different solutions you always need to come up with different solutions all the time for every different situation you need to you know just you know it's it comes from experience you know you got to do your homework but then you always have to have that open mind to like constantly think of a great solution for a problem Every problem is going to be different in real estate in stocks, in any investment in life. There's always going to be kind of different problems. But if you can just stay calm and just focus on solutions instead of problems, you're going to get ahead with a lot less stress. OK, so that what I've got into um, so far right in my life is uh, in far, as far as investments is I got into stocks. Right. I started with I even did day trading. I got into options. I mean, I have a whole bunch of index funds and now I'm really all about long term growth stocks, buying them at a discount, right, where there's value and not just jumping in on the hype. So stocks, I've done a lot of different things. Uh, and then I've also gotten deep into real estate. So real estate is really my bread and butter, right? That's my game. Is getting into real estate because I feel like real estate is really the best investment for the long run because the government really incentivizes you to invest in real estate to provide housing because of all the tax benefits because of all the laws you know when you're buying selling any income that you get all of the write-offs tax benefits you just cannot beat it right and then you can also leverage right all of the 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 tools that they put together all of the these these ways that you can buy real estate. They just made it so you could safely leverage, you know, with 30 year fixed rate, low interest tax benefits. I mean, I know a lot of guys will, will, will are, are like sold on stocks, but that's one thing too, to, cause I'm, I love stocks too. I know about stocks. I know about all aspects of stocks. I know I'm deep into real estate, but I can take like just the big picture view of it and say that, you know what? This thing is good about this. This thing is good about that. But I'm just saying from my perspective, from my experience and looking at the future, when you own real estate and that that's an investment where you're getting income from, 
you just can't beat it. Okay, that's just my that's my personal opinion. And I'm looking into businesses too. I've been studying up on businesses, and I think it's something that I'm gonna have to get into to grow my capital, in order to reinvest into like stocks and real estate, because I think just counting on my job right now is very limiting. Especially, I live in San Francisco, so if I want to invest in any more real estate, I have to up my game. I have to come up with different ideas to grow that money, to grow that capital, to put back into the, these investments that, at some point, will pay me enough to replace my job. Right, so I'm not dependent on my job. That is, that's the dream. So I've been doing a lot of research into businesses, and I have some ideas on that, and that's something I'm gonna have to get into. But I'm really open to any opportunities, man. I'm on here on YouTube, okay, talking smack out here, trying to just put out good info, trying to document my journey, trying to put help people out, cause it, cause that is another opportunity. And I'm not saying this is going to do anything. I have no expectations really. I have goals that I set for myself and things that I'm trying to do to try to improve and. Put something out there that's good that people will actually want to watch and actually they can learn from, right? They'll be inspired to do something about their life. So, but this is another opportunity that I, I'm looking into, and it could be anything else. So that's what I'm trying to say. It could be anything in this world. Just be open to different opportunities and then just digging in, right? Don't be worried about putting in the work, you know. And people always, always say that they don't have time. Man, you can make time. Okay, so if I can have a family of four, I could be into stocks, all different kinds of strategies of stocks. I could be into real estate, managing my own properties, right? Doing all of the stuff that you know a father has to do, right? I'm a full-time dad, and you got a full-time job, and doing all kinds of stuff um, in life too, because I have family, I have friends. I'm, I'm big into my health, right? I have a you know uh, my workout routine. I, I, I bike a lot. You know, I try to make time for everything that's important in my life, including the next opportunity. So don't tell me you don't have time. In a day, you can break out 30 minutes to learn something new. I set a whole bunch of reminders all the time. When it comes up, I have a, a way of setting a timer. 30 minutes, knock a thing out. You'd be surprised if you did 30 minutes a day of one thing you could become an expert in no time, right? And then once you develop like a little passion, you want to dig in, I mean, then you're going to end up spending a lot more time on it. And But the idea is to have a balance, right? You want to make sure that you're able to do everything that's important in life and then also make 30 minutes, just carve it out, make make a way, do, do it somehow. You got to do it if you want to get ahead, right? It's just really how much do you want it? If you think you're fine the way you are, then fine, go ahead, live your life. But if you understand that your job is not secure, like right now, this world, it should tell you that your job is not a sure thing. Any job, even if you can work from home, right? You work for a great company, maybe some tech company, you're not safe. You know, if this thing drags out any longer, any businesses go, go under, everybody will be affected. And do you really want to be dependent on your job forever, right? Do you think you can work forever? Like right now, maybe great, right? You're working from home. You know what? You don't even really feel the craziness of the world. But what if you're 50, you're 60? Do you still want to be doing that job? Do you think you can still be doing that job? I mean, a lot of times people get booted out, right? Or you get sick or you, you want to spend time with family. Something comes up. Do you really want to be dependent 100% on that job? And then at the end of the day, let's say you already planned on retirement. You're 60, 65, whatever. You're going to retire. Do you really think your 401k is going to do it for you? Because another example, look at the world right now. You know, if you were trying to retire today and your portfolio dropped 30%, can you still live off of 4% of that account? I mean, I think a lot of people are barely cutting it close, even, you know, hitting their goal. And if you're under your goal and then you lose 30%, I mean, Good luck to you. So you really have to look at different ways if you want to survive out there. If you're just doing the standard, what everybody in the world has told you to do when you came out of school, that's all you knew how to, you know, what to do. I think you're pretty screwed, right? You're not going to have like the best kind of retirement, the life that you thought you were going to live, that you want to live. 
I also want to put out there that it's you it's really important to have an open mind and you know be open to opportunities you know and do your homework and go out there and go for it right you just gotta go for it but there are no guarantees right you you can you know do everything you can planned and whatever and it didn't work out and hopefully you have a job to fall back on you have a 401k to fall back on but if it doesn't work out it's it it happens you know it's there's no guarantees in life but you just have to take advantage of whatever opportunities come up and you just hope for the best you just got to go for it and sometimes if one thing doesn't work out you just got to keep going for it you know if the first thing doesn't work on to the next don't get discouraged and you know just say it doesn't work and just quit altogether right stop thinking about anything else after that that's closing your mind again so make sure if one thing doesn't work you keep at it right because you know how important it is to you know really get ahead to live the life that you want uh so i think that's that's all i got for this one um let me know what you think about this right um what do you think about having that open mind you know is there anything holding you back sometimes you know i'd love to know in the comments Thanks for watching and good luck out there.